Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back with another kicking action figure review. Today we have another figure from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, a Hasbro Pulse exclusive actually. The Psycho Green Ranger. This is a comic book character, first appearing in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, the comic book by Boom Studios, very happy to get it. It's nothing really different from the other Psycho Rangers we've gotten so far. It's the male Psycho Ranger sculpt, painted green with a new weapon. That's basically all it is. So if you have a Psycho Ranger, you really know what to expect. But that doesn't mean it's not a good figure, because it is a good figure. And I'm, I hope they make more comic characters in the future. They've already given me three, which is pretty impressive for how young the line actually is, if you think about it. So, let's, uh, let's check him out. The sculpt, really exactly what you'd expect just the male psycho ranger sculpt mine has this scuff right on the front it had that when it was in packaging and it's bothering me not that it's a scuff but just the place where it is right front and center you know that really grinds my gears he has multiple accessories uh here's his blade it's actually a very cool blade uh and his lightning hand I display all my Psycho Rangers with their electricity hand. He also comes with an energy effect for the blade. You know, it's one we've seen before. Just kind of pop it on the blade there. And he also comes with two holding hands. One for each side. And then a left fist hand. So that's all the accessories you get with Psycho Green, and I think it's enough. You know, honestly, I just want the energy hand so we can suck the energy out of a Green Ranger, and then also his regular weapon. Those are the only uh, two major accessories, plus regular interchangeable hands. It's all good. Now, how about some articulation? There's a little Godzilla hiding on the side there. Uh, it's all articulation you've seen before. Up and down on the head, side to side on the head. You've got a lot of torso. Got that waist crunch. Up and down on the arm. You got a butterfly joint forward and back. You got a bicep swivel, double elbow bend forward and back on the wrists. Rotation on the wrists. In and out on the legs, forward and back on the legs. You have a thigh swivel. A double knee bend, a boot swivel, up and down on the feet, and a great ankle pivot. Very, very nice. Psycho Green sure is poseable. Now let's get into some size comparisons. You know you want to see him with, not Godzilla, but... <laughs> Some others, oh, you can still see him. But uh, first up, how about the SPD Red Ranger? Yeah. And the Ranger Slayer to show him with another comic book character and a female sculpt. And he looks great with his own line, which is all you can ask, to be honest. As long as a figure looks great with their own line, they should meet the sizing qualifications. But there are other lines in existence, like the Beast Morphers line, which has the blue Beast Morphers Ranger in it. Also, show them off with another villain, Drill Roido from the Sentai, but Drill Tron in the Hasbro show. You know, I think he looks pretty good with them also, to be completely honest, size-wise anyways. He does far best them when it comes to detail. And... Then two more figure lines. These are a bit bigger. The Legacy Armored Red Ranger, GameStop exclusive. And the Sentai Hero Series Zuyo Whale, to show them with the Super Sentai figure. And you know I don't have any Super Sentai or Power Ranger figure arts on me right now. I have plenty of them, but I don't have them on me. So I'm going to show you a Kamen Rider instead, but the sizing is still the same. Here's the, ex the Web Shop exclusive Kamen Rider Amazon Sigma. 
That's how you look with SH Figure Arts. So those last two lines were too big, but the SH Figure Arts you could kind of work him with, you know? Some little forced perspective like D Amazing and Metallics XD do. And you've got that down. So, what are my final thoughts on the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Hasbro exclusive Psycho Green Ranger? Well, once again, it's a figure you can only get from their website. I pre-ordered it, so mine came in very fast. Um, it's a very, very cool figure. An extremely cool figure. You know, once again, it's not any better or worse than the red and blue that I have. Uh, I didn't get the five pack because I had two of them already and I heard they were going to release the rest individually at some point. So I didn't get the Amazon exclusive five pack. But, um, I did pick up this guy. He's really cool. Hopefully they'll give us silver and an individually released red, yellow, and pink. Not red, yellow, and pink. Black, yellow, and pink down the line. Then we would have everybody. Uh, so that is it for Psycho Green. He's a good figure and is really exactly what I expected. So that's it. Thank you all very much for the support. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. Uh, and remember... Psycho Green, Hasbro Pulse exclusive. <laughs> just, just remember you can only get them on the Hasbro Pulse website. That's it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all later.